Tim here, also known as Nintendo Capri Sun. And um, this is a gym vlog, so I figured what better way to introduce the vlog than to be following one of those. And these are 10 pounders, by the way, not 8 pounders. I got rid of the 8 pounders. Just a few words on the last six months or so. What kind of progress or lack of progress, should I say, has been made? I don't know what happened this winter, but this winter really kind of got me down. And it's only recently, now that the weather's been warming back up, that I'm starting to come out of it again. And thank God, and it's actually been, I've been coming out of it for like two or three months now. Don't expect to get things on this way in. I, mean, I think my last way in was 175. Although well, my last way in on camera was 175. My last way in in real life was at least... I don't even know if I want to say it because it's, it's that bad. It's 190. I know. Because there were periods there, boy, in the middle of winter where I went for... I went for weeks at a time without going. I just didn't want to do it. I just couldn't make myself get up and do it. It's, I don't know what happened. I really, I wish I could tell you, but I really don't know. It's like, I guess it's like, I guess it's like I, too, put, I put too much emphasis on the destination aspect of it. You know how they say love is like a process and not a destination? Or life's a journey, not a destination. And when I hit that 175, it was like I hit my destination and that was it. I didn't have to do it anymore. And that's not how working out is. It's not about reaching a certain destination. I mean, that's good to reach certain goals. But the thing that you have to keep in mind is that you know, that working out and, you know, practicing good eating habits and fitness and things like that, that's a lifetime commitment. You don't just get to a certain point that you're happy with and then stop and go back to what you were doing before because you will erase all that hard work that you put into it. But I think something happened there mentally when I hit the 175 mark where I said, wow, the problem is with my sleep pattern. This is really one of those things that I went into extensive detail about it in The Secret of Evermore LP. You'll hear me talk about it like all through parts seven and eight. It's just ridiculous. Because normally I like to go to the gym like in the middle of the night, you know, when nobody else is there. So, you know, I go like midnight or two in the morning. But I also don't like to go and have it be like the last thing I do of, in the day. So in order to meet those two conditions, go at midnight, go at 2 a.m., and also go in the first few hours of your day, I have to be on a sleep pattern where I'm waking up at 7 or 8 p.m. Now the problem is, what if I'm traveling to Atlanta, traveling to L.A., traveling to PAX, traveling to MAGFest, doing one of these things where I have to shift my sleep pattern around so that I'm getting up at 7 or 8 in the morning instead of 7 or 8 p.m.? That's 12 hours of jet lag. Enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and... Just get out there and get the way in and get this over with so we can see how much work we got to do to catch up. Oh, and this is the other thing. This is another thing that's been stopping me from going to my lake. This is the rain. Because for a long time, my windshield wipers didn't work. I only just got those fixed about a month ago. You know, so every time I came out here to go to the gym and it was raining, I couldn't go because my windshield wipers don't work. And I'm not going to drive in the rain without wipers. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. this is bad. <laughs> yep, we got some work to do. I don't know if it's because I had the camera on me, but man, I busted ass. Whew. I was just bound and determined I was gonna get to 100 on that stupid, that thing where you like pull the weights to lift them up. I showed myself doing it in fast forward in a previous video. That one where I played that stupid Ben Folds song and got up like Agent Smith. Yeah, I think the most I've ever done on that is 50, and I told myself tonight, you know what? I don't care if you have to do it in groups of 25, we're doing 100 of that shit tonight. And I did 100. And I'm just like, by the time I got to the end of 50, my arms were telling me, look, we need to stop. So, you know, it's like, okay. So I stopped for a couple of minutes, and then I started again. You know, by the time I got 10 into, by the time I got up to 60, my arms were screaming again, man. But I just said, fuck you arms. I don't care how much you scream, we're gonna do it. Wow, that sounds kind of bad, my brakes. Ah, yeah, uh-huh. It would've been a bad time for them to go out because apparently there was somebody there. Oh, man. The weight loss is not gonna be instantaneous, but rest assured, I do believe I've got the, tonight is what I needed 
to really get the thirst back for it. The thirst for good old fashioned water, first of all. Sounds like my door is open over there. Man, my arms are still like just. They're still on fire. Can't even move the steering wheel, man. Oh. So, yeah, so by the time I got to 75, like I was like gritting my teeth. And it's funny because, like, of all the times I've talked about various things I've done in the gym, the heart rates I've gotten to, the times, the number of calories burned, the, the incline, how high I set the incline, how long I set the incline to a certain height, all those little details, and yet I've never actually mentioned before that I think tonight was the first time that I was, like, literally gritting my teeth to do something and actually burying my teeth. You know, because most of the time you're like, I don't know, people do different things when they're straining, you know, to do something. And for most people, I, you know, I imagine that it's gritting your teeth. But I don't usually push myself to that point. I never have, like all my life. Because there's just, because there's pain, you know, because it hurts. And I don't, I don't know how far I should be pushing myself into that threshold of pain. Lest I, you know, accidentally, you know, actually deliberately hurt myself. Because I don't want that to happen either. So it's like, where do you draw the line? But tonight, I went ahead and just uh, got to that point. Because when I was doing that last 70 through 75 on that thing, I was gritting my teeth. 75 through 100 was a little easier because this old man came in. And he was like, he was riding alongside me on the bikes. And, uh... He was keeping up with me pretty well. I don't know who this guy was. Maybe some military veteran or something, but yeah. So, but I had the bike set to a pretty high uh, resistance because I think that that's... Because I'd rather be using the muscles in my legs to move slow against resistance rather than to just move them really fast and risk throwing myself off of the bike and halfway across the gym, you know, crashing into an elliptical machine or something. Don't want to do that either. I said I didn't like to film while driving, but that's in another vlog. I might put this up before those. I don't know. I'm going to be embarrassed to put this up because people are not going to want to see that. I can't believe I was almost back up to 200. I honestly thought I was still in the low 190s, but uh, I must have been in Atlanta. I ate all that junk food in Atlanta. I got all those. You know, the, I mean, you saw it. I got those chicken fingers. I got the catfish. And every single time I ordered something that came with french fries, I ate up those french fries. And when I was at home, I was eating Reese's peanut butter cups. And, uh, what else? What else did I have there? So I had that pound cake. You know that pound cake? I was looking at the calories on that. 1,400 calories just in one loaf of pound cake. I'm like, how can something have that many calories in it? Yeah, you couldn't even fit 1,400 calories worth of Little Debbie snacks into that container. And yet, that tiny little pound cake that's like takes up two thirds of the container is 1,400 calories. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You know, I mean, it tastes good, granted, but it doesn't taste that good. I'm sorry. I'll just as soon have the Swiss cake rolls. But I'm just kidding. I'm being sarcastic, like, by comparison. I think tonight I'm actually gonna, um, yeah, I think tonight I'm actually gonna go for that salmon. So what I've been doing a lot lately is buying like this really expensive fish that has like the omega-3 fatty acids or whatever, you know. I don't know what any of that shit means. I just know that it's probably healthier than anything else. Like, well, I mean, it's, it's one of the healthier meat options I could choose for myself as opposed to chicken fingers or, or God forbid, those TV dinners. I don't know when the last time was I actually had one of those. I cut back on them for a long time, but this is the point at which I, like, literally don't eat them at all anymore. I got, like, six little Stouffer's sitting in there. They've been in there for, like, three months. Haven't touched them. You know, and normally that's the first thing I'd be going for, but I'm telling you, that's just not like that anymore. So lately it's been salmon, and... I mean, I don't have much to speak of in the way of vegetables, mainly, because I really don't know how to cook them that well. It's like you put them in a pan, I guess... I guess I need to take a closer look at that Biggest Loser cookbook again. Wait, is somebody coming? You know, it's so hard to tell sometimes. As you come around this corner, somebody could be coming the other way from out the back of the parking lot. So you want to go slow. But then the slower you go, the more likely, the more time you spend pulling through, 
thus the more likely someone else is going to come the other way. So, yeah, pick your poison, you know. Uh, man, it's hot in this car. Man, I'm not going to be looking forward to that stupid-ass hot weather that's going to... You know, because I saw a video on Breaking NCS from last summer, and he said in that video that it was too hot to go working out, and it's like, ugh. Okay, so in summer it's too hot to work out. In winter it's too cold. I mean, you can't be doing that. You, know, you can't use the weather as an excuse not to work out. Because otherwise you're only going to be working out for four months out of the year. Anyway, I'm going to get on up there, so see you later.